when surfaces reflect light, they don't absorb it. This has significant effect on surface temperatures. The bulk reflectivity of a planetary surface is referred to as its albedo. As a reminder, incoming light, when absorbed, will heat up a surface until it re-emits an equivalent amount of thermal radiation. When the incoming and outgoing power is the same, the body is said to be in thermal equilibrium. It will achieve a constant temperature that depends on this energy balance. Previously, you've learned that the greater the incoming sunlight, the more energy gets absorbed, the surface heats up more, until it achieves thermal equilibrium. In the simplest example, this assumes all the incoming sunlight gets absorbed. If the surface However, reflects some of the sunlight, less of it gets absorbed, and hence it can balance thermal equilibrium at lower temperatures. Notice in this diagram that the sum of the outgoing radiation is still equal to the incoming radiation. Various surface types have different reflectivity and hence contribute to the albedo in different ways. Darker surfaces, such as asphalt, forests, or the ocean absorb more sunlight, whereas snow, grasslands, or cloud tops have high reflectivity, reducing the sunlight absorbed. When comparing Earth with its planetary neighbors, it has a moderate albedo, mainly due to the combination of bright cloud cover versus dark oceans. Mars has very little in the way of clouds, and while it has no oceans, its dusty surface is, on average, less reflective than Earth's. Venus is permanently shrouded in clouds and has, has a very high albedo. In fact, if it weren't for its extreme greenhouse effect, its surface would be colder than that of Earth. 